The value of this protocol is that it allows almost any strain of Dictyostelium discoidium to be manipulated by molecular genetics, irrespective of whether that strain will grow axenically in liquid medium or not. The other advantage of this technique is that it is fast and simple. Try first to transfect cells with an exochromosome plasmid before starting to make stable cell lines. The results can already be validated two days after transfection using microscopy. It is unusual to work with dictyostelium cells in bacterial suspension. Visualization will help to give experimenters an idea how the different steps of the protocols are performed. Demonstrating the procedure with me will be Suda B. Imanikia, a postdoc from my lab. To begin, prepare 1000 milliliters of Sorensen buffer working solution with magnesium chloride and calcium chloride according to the text protocol. After this, use a single colony of K aerogenes to inoculate 1 liter of LB medium. Allow the bacteria to grow overnight at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking. Spin the cells down in two 500 milliliter centrifuge tubes to harvest the cells. Then, wash the bacteria once with 500 milliliters of buffer. Resuspend the pellet in 20 milliliters of buffer. Use a photometer to check the optical density of the sample and dilute the sample with buffer until the optical density is about 100. After this, prepare the H40 electroporation buffer according to the text protocol. Grow K aerogenes to conflict.